Lauren Boebert is trying to stay in the house by jumping districts. And all she really needs right now is no more drama, no more personal drama, no more family drama, just smooth sailing. But Lauren Boebert has a bit of a problem. And it's named Tyler. Technically, she named the problem Tyler because it's her son, Tyler Bober, who unfortunately has run afoul of the law a whole lot. Okay, so this was released by the Rifle Police Department. Rifle is the name of a place in Colorado because it's Colorado. And so you can see there the mugshot of Tyler Bober. He's facing four counts of criminal possession of a financial device, four counts of criminal possession of ID documents, one count of conspiracy to commit a felony, four misdemeanor counts of ID theft, three misdemeanor counts of first degree criminal criminal trespass, three more misdemeanor counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and three counts of petty theft of less than $300. It is a lot of charges according to jail records. He is still in custody. It is possible that by the time we're recording this or by the time you're viewing it, that that might have changed, but that's what's true as of right now. And look, I just want to say, Lauren Boebert has been the center of like a vortex of a lot of craziness and bad news. Okay, and I understand that I don't like Lauren Boebert as a person. I think that she's a genuinely bad person. I think that she has been viciously Islamophobic towards Ilan Omar. I think that there's a lot about Lauren Boebert that I don't like. And look, it is her kid. And in theory, if it was Rashida Talib's kid or something, I have no doubt that Lauren Bober and all of the right would use that as a way to attack Rashida Talib or insert another person. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. It's a family thing and it's her kid, but that doesn't mean like she shouldn't be in Congress is all I will say. Maybe I'm a Buzz Killington, maybe you didn't expect me to have that take. Like all of the stuff with her husband, like it seems like a deeply troubled family. And not all of that is on Lauren Boebert. Maybe almost none of it is on Lauren Boebert. Maybe Lauren Boebert is a victim too in this because like Jason Boebert, her now ex husband, was arrested on assault charges after he shoved his thumb into the mouth of one of their. Their sons, and she got a restraining order, and it sounds like he was hassling her too. And like the whole thing is just, it's really uncomfortable to talk about. But like, I know some people are gonna be like, see, she shouldn't be in Congress. Go take care of your family. But like, no, that's not, you get to have a career, okay? It sucks what's happening with her family. We don't know who's to blame or whatever. Life is complex. I don't like any of it. And I don't think that Lauren Boebert should be in Congress. I just don't think that these are the reasons for it. Sharon, am I wrong? What what, what do you think? You're 100% right. Sometimes good parents raise kids who run into difficulty. Sometimes bad parents contribute to their kids' difficulty. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. I will tell you that um, she's caused a lot of drama in Congress, and that's one of the reasons she shouldn't be there. That and the fact that she does no work. But she said mm -hmm. she was done fighting with Marjorie Taylor Greene and others because she was now a grandmother. You know, Tyler is a teenage father and she wanted to be more mature. And I think in this circumstance, the son getting in trouble yet again, I think people can be mature and leave, perhaps leave him out of it, even though she brought him into the spotlight and just focus on all the things she doesn't do right or all the things she just doesn't do. That's yeah. enough. That's enough right there. You don't have to judge her as a mom or attack her, her son. That should be off limits. 100%. But what is not off limits on this show, it's not helpful on this show. It never accomplishes any of this show, but it's not off limits is checking people's hypocrisy. So I am going to do that. I don't know to what extent she's responsible for this. And I don't, I don't like getting involved in people's families. Okay. So right wingers, maybe you could take that on as a general principle that you let families sort of govern themselves. So I'm not going to do that. What I am going to say is, she has been willing to attribute blame under far more tenuous circumstances than her son to her. She once, I think this is back during the 2000, the 2020 social justice movement, and you know there was a lot of chaos in that year. She tweeted, "Damaging any property that is not your own is a crime." Nancy Pelosi's failure to lead this country in the right direction is shameful. How far have the Democrats fallen when they're too afraid to admit that destroying property is wrong? So she, so Nancy Pelosi's responsible when people destroy property. 
So then are you responsible when your son destroys property? I mean, Nancy Pelosi doesn't even know these people. And wait, why is Nancy Pelosi responsible? Donald Trump was president at the time. Why isn't he leading the country in the right direction? And I will also just remind you, in terms of talking about families and criminality, she has not been silent on this topic. Mm. She once tweeted, the Biden crime family will go down as the most corrupt political family in American history. But in her defense, that tweet was yesterday. So she's probably changed as a person and no longer thinks that we should be judging a family as being criminals. Although if one wanted to, you could edit her tweet with a few mug shots and come up with something like this. Oh my. I mean, can you imagine if Joe Biden's family was filled with this much criminality? He already gets a lot of criticism for the fact that Hunter Biden has run afoul of the law. And they think judging Joe for Hunter is totally legitimate. Now, I don't agree with that, which is why I am not judging Lauren Boebert for what her son has done. And I hope that this family is capable of finding some peace, some stability. And I'm not saying that cynically, I literally mean that. And in the meantime, I do feel kind of secondhand bad for her because like she's she's trying to run for Congress. Could you not break the law for like a month? <laughs> Mama's trying to keep her seat, buddy. Like I just, as a new parent, that's gotta be very frustrating. Sharon, any final thoughts? <laughs> well, I'll just say this, it also doesn't help that she's tough on crime, often without due process. I mean, Trump tweeted out, remember when the looting starts, the shooting starts, and I know she liked that at the time, yep. she liked that tweet. So you know, this is a woman that doesn't like due process for others. And so perhaps she will reevaluate herself in the 24 hours since that last tweet. <laughs>